Hi, thank you for tuning in. Um, I feel led not to continue in the in the Rimbaud studies. I just want to show you, or at least in Second Delirium, I think people generally um, have uh, enough understanding to go off on their own. Uh, but this specific line holds an astounding truth that I, I need to share. Um, so I hope I could share it with you all. So Rimbaud writes, Finally, O reason, O happiness, I cleared from the sky the blue which is darkness, and I lived as a golden spark of this light, nature. In my delight, I made my face look as comic and as wild as I could. Okay? There is an astounding truth in here. Okay? So Rim Rimbaud is literally living out the order of God. And we learn about this in the Nag Hammadi scriptures. Okay, so let's let's uh, dissect this for a second. Finally, O reason, O happiness, I cleared from the sky the blue which is darkness. Okay, blue is the color of priesthood, of love, of healing, the color of water. So what makes the sky blue? It's the reflection of the ocean in the atmosphere. So what is the ocean? The ocean biblically, is the devil's kingdom, right? You can't drink from it. It's salt water. Um, it's unlivable water. So as we're all called to come out of darkness, right? The day begins at sundown. Um, biblically, um, the reflection of the devil's kingdom reflects in the sky as priesthood, healing, and water, right? It's the devil that, that refines us into... Um, into a priestly garment of God. And that's what the blue sky is about. Okay? So there's an astounding truth that Rimbaud writes. I cleared from the sky the blue which is darkness. Okay? Because it's, all, it's a reflection of the devil's kingdom. So it's amazing that Rimbaud is calling uh, such a positive color like blue darkness. And I lived as a golden spark of this light, nature, Okay, now in the Nag Hammadi scriptures, um, there's um, material existence from which we live in, as we've already covered on this channel, is from Yalda Bales, is from Satan himself. Okay, we learn about this in Nag Hammadi scriptures. Um, material existence is of darkness. Now the Pistis Sophia, when she repented, that enabled... Um, light from the eternal father to come down and dwell in the darkness of material existence. This is why things of God dwell in nature. Why we have, you know, the sun dancing on the leaves of the trees and um, water flowing and sprinkling and sparkling, all this kind of stuff. We think of God when we think of nature. And the only way that's possible is because the Pistis Sophia repented. Okay, we learn about this stuff in the Nag scriptures. Rimbaud is talking about an astounding truth here. Um, but that, that's the backstory. So, um, and I lived as, you know, so clearing from the sky the blue, which is darkness, is an astounding truth. And that's why Rimbaud writes, and I lived as a golden spark of this light, nature. In my delight, I made my face look as comic and as wild as I could. So just like I said, in my delight, I, I, I can't quote it, but the scriptures say, um, nature is for our delight. It's for our enjoyment. It brings us true happiness that is free, that, we can, that all of us have access to. So in my delight, I made my face look as comic and as wild as I could. So put, put Rimbaud in the place of God. So God's face is looking at nature's, nature since Pisces Sophia repented. And what is nature? I guess to God, it's comic and as wild as possible. So um, this is just an astounding truth. And when you study the Nag Hammadi scriptures, you'll come to this truth. And it's amazing that Rimbaud even writes of this truth. Um, just amazing. So we can discern that he himself is living out the uh, the mysterious acts of the Father. Um, just astounding. And yes, I believe, you know, physically he, he did live like this. Um, we see, you know, the poem Wandering, 
um, I would cross-reference. So this is an amazing, amazing truth. Um, I really pray people can receive this. Um, thanks for tuning in. Allah bless you.